What's up everyone and welcome to Sketch Sunday here at the club. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to sketch a realistic bumblebee. For this lesson, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm using a 6B pencil. I'm going to use a side grip using the flat edge of my pencil. I'm going to add a guideline down the center of my page. So starting at the very top, I'm just going to lightly sketch a line coming down the middle. All the way down towards the bottom of the page. Now let's go in and start blocking out the body. We're going to start in the center of our page and sketch out a small circle. Starting in the middle, it's going to work our way around the left side. Just using these short choppy lines going around and then back in. And we'll take that and flip it over on the right. So going back to the top, we'll sketch in the right side. Now the back end of the body, which is called the thorax, is going to get tucked in behind the body. So let's start in the center. We're going to sketch out a large oval. It's going to go out towards the side and then come back in towards the middle and we'll sketch in the right side. And we're going to go about the same width as the body. And then we'll tuck the head in behind the body. We'll start on the left side and draw a small half circle and then back down. And then we'll separate the eyes from the center of the head, leaving a gap in the middle. We'll draw two lines, one on the left and then one on the right. Now we want to add a guideline going across the center of our circle for the wings. So we start out here, go straight out towards the left, turn about there, and we'll do the same thing on the right, going out towards the same length. And now we're going to block in the outside of the wing. Starting from the center, we're going to draw an angled line going up and out towards the left. Just a straight line, up and out. We're going to line up with the center line. Do the same thing on the right, going up and out. And then from the ends, we're going to angle down and in. Just crossing that center line, and to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right side. And then we're going to curve the bottom of the wing. Let's start on the left side. We're going to come in. We're just going to bend that up towards the center of the circle. Now let's move up and block out the antennas. We're going to start on the inside edge of the left eye. and draw a straight angled line going up and out. Do the same thing on the right. And then from here we're going to curve up and then bend that in. Now there's three legs on either side. Let's start with the ones along the top. In between the side of the eye and the wing, we'll start out here. Start with a straight angle line going up and out. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to move down and block in two sets of legs on either side. So let's start right where the circle meets the oval. Start with a straight angle line coming down and out. Go to the right side and do the same thing. And then from here, we're going to angle down and out towards the bottom of the leg. Then going back to the inside, we're going to draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the bottom of the bottom leg. Now that we have the basic proportions of our bumblebee, we'll go in and start shaping out the wings. Let's start on the inside edge of the wing, right beside the body. Start by curving out. I'm just going to pull that up. The same thing on the right side. Just going up past that guideline on the top. And then from here, I'm just going to bend this out towards the tip. And then we're going to round out the tip of the wing, come around, come down the side, and just going to pull that in towards that center guideline. Now halfway between the body and the outside of the wing, we're going to start right here. We're going to curve out and then down. This is for the lower edge of the wing. Let's round out the end. Coming around, I'm just going to pull that down toward that bottom line on both sides. I'm going to follow this curve coming in towards the inside. I'm going to pull this up and in and we'll curve this back in towards the side of the body, almost like creating an S shape. Go to the right and do the same thing. Curving out and down, 
and then blending down towards the bottom of the wing. Now we're going to move back up and separate the top leg into three equal sections. So we're going to draw two guidelines along the middle and the same thing on the right. So I have three equal parts. Now the arms start off thick along the inside and gradually get smaller as we go out. So let's start on this line. It's going to round out the side along the bottom of the arm, coming back in towards the body. Go back up, curve in the opposite direction. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming in towards the body, do the same thing along the bottom. And then that second section of the arm is going to get a little bit thinner. So we're going to go up towards that line and then pull that back. It's almost like drawing a half oval. Do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll bend the last section going up. So start on the tip, I'm just going to bend this up towards the top, round this out and then come back in. Let's add a line going across the bend of the leg. Just an angled line coming across on both sides. Now going up to the top, we're going to bend the leg going up and pulling that in towards the side of the body. Do the same thing on the right. And then from the inside, we're going to go up and in. It's a little bit thicker along the bottom edge. Now we're going to separate this section of the leg in half with a short angled line on both sides. And then from the outside, we draw a straight angled line going up towards the top section of the leg. And then from the inside, we're just going to taper this, coming down and then bending that out. And then the bottom section of the leg is going to bend outward. So we start on the left, coming down and then bending that out. We'll round out the ends and then pull that back up. Now with the bottom legs, we want to add a hinge on the top of the leg. So starting on the side of the thorax, we're going to go out and then in, almost like drawing a half circle. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then we'll separate the lower section of the leg in half with a straight angled line. From the side of the hinge, we're going to curve out and then down toward the outside of that guideline. And then from the inside, we're going to curve up and then in towards the bottom of that half circle. And then we'll bend the bottom leg coming down and then out. Let's start on the left side, down and out. Let's round up the ends. Now we're just going to pull that back up underneath the top section of the leg. You can see that it left a little bit of an overlap on the inside and outside. Now that we added some shape to our drawing, I'm going to go back in and erase some of the initial guidelines. Now from here, we want to go in and separate the light and dark areas of the drawing. So starting with the center of the head, we're just going to lightly shade that in using the side edge of our pencil. And we'll do the same thing to the body. And then we're going to add some thick stripes across the thorax. We're going to start on the left side. We're going to lightly sketch a curve coming down and then back up. And then we'll add a thick stripe along the middle. Starting back on the left, follow that same curve. Coming down, and then up. Move down and do the same thing. And then we'll lightly shade the top and bottom stripe. Now I'm going to go and start adding some detail. We're going to start with the center of the body. We want to add a fur texture around the outside. Starting at the very top, we're going to draw a series of short lines going up 
and just bending them out as we go out towards the side of the body. Just curving them outwards and just following the curve of the circle. Go back to the center and work in the right side. And going back and forth, so we're balancing out our drawing. Now I'll lightly sketch out another circle in the center of the body, but I'm going to push it down towards the bottom. So we're starting in the center at the very top. I'm going to lightly sketch out that circle. Come almost all the way down towards the bottom. And then back up towards the top. And then we'll go back in and darken up the center circle. And then we'll add a fur texture around the outside of that center circle. Starting in the middle, we're just going to pull a line going up towards the top. And I'm just going to bend these out as you go out towards the side. Going from that dark circle, going out. So you see I'm starting to curve that across. And then down along the side. Just blend that in towards the bottom fur. Now go back and darken up that circle a little bit further. Now to give the impression that the body is curved, we want to add a shadow across the bottom. So we're going to start on the left side, using the side edge of our pencil. I'm going to shade this in along the bottom, just blending that fur out. And as you come up the side, we're just going to blend this up. Now let's move up and add fur along the center of the head. We're going to start on the left side, we're going to curve out and up. Just a series of lines going up along the side. Do the same thing on the right, and then we'll connect the two sides with some more fur, just going up the middle. And then we'll shade the bottom of the head, the side edge of our pencil. Just blend that out as we go up. And we'll add a little fur texture along the bottom, so just pulling these lines going up towards the top of the head. Now that's going to shape out the eyes. Starting at the top of the eye on the left, we're just going to bend this up, round up the eye, and then come down towards the body. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's go ahead and shade in the eyes. Slightly shading that in. And then we're going to darken up the shadow along the bottom and the inside of the eye. So again, using the flat edge of our pencil, just blending that up and then along the inside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some detail to the antennas. Now to protect my drawing from any smudges, I'm gonna use a separate piece of paper just underneath my hand. Let's start with the left side. Starting from the side of the head, I'm gonna draw a straight line going up. Same thing on the right side. Now from the top, we're just going to curve down and out, just to separate out the tip of the antenna. And then from the end, I'm going to curve down and in, just pinching it in towards the inside. And then we'll blend this into a curve coming in and then down in behind the head. Let's go in and darken up the antennas using the tip of our pencil.
Now the tip of the antenna curves up and out and then back in. So let's start on the left side at the bottom. Go up and out. I just want to round this out and just blend into a curve coming back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting on the outside, go up, bend that out, and then we'll bend that back in towards the top. Let's round out the tip of the antenna, just pulling that back in. And we'll follow that same curve, coming around, coming back in towards the top of that section. And we'll go in and lightly shade the tip of the antenna. I'm just going to blend this out as we come down. So we're going to start off dark along the tip and then blend that out. Let's move to the side and add some shape to the legs. We're starting at the very top. So we follow that same curve going up and out on both sides. And then from the ends, we're just going to curve this coming down and out. Just rounding up that joint. Then from the outside, we'll curve down and back in towards the body. And then we'll trace the second section, going up, rounding up the top, and coming back in. And then the end, we're just going to follow that curve going up, rounding up the tip, and then coming back down and in. Now we want to shade in the legs, but we start a little darker along the inside and then blend that out as you go up. Let's do the same with the other two sections, starting off dark and then blending that out. Now we're going to move down and add some fur along the outside edge of the thorax. Let's start on the side. Again, we're just going to pull these lines going out around that oval. I'm just going to pull this out a little bit further. And then again, just bending them down as you come down towards the bottom. And along the bottom, we're just going to start to straighten these out and work in the right side. You see that I'm working with the curve of the body. It's coming down. Start to pull that in. As we get to the bottom, I'm just going to flatten these out. Let's add a fur texture along this curve. Starting back on the left, I'm just going to pull the line going out and then down. And then straightening them out as we get in towards the middle. Now we're going to bend them out and down on the right side. all the way out towards the side of the body. And then we'll go in and darken up that upper area. Now we want to soften up this fur line, so we're going to start with the side of our pencil and just lightly shade that in. And then we'll add that same fur texture along the top and bottom of the center stripe. Start at the very top. Just lightly pull these lines going up. And then we'll do the same thing along the bottom. Just pulling our pencil down towards us. Now 
Now we're going to go back in and darken the center area a little bit further using the side of a drummer pencil. It's going all the way across towards the right. And then we'll add a little bit more fur texture along the inside, just using these short choppy lines and just filling that center area in. You can also blend the fur along the top and bottom edge. Now we're gonna move out and trace the contours of the leg. Let's start on the top on the left. Just gonna trace this out towards the bottom. Again, we're gonna add a socket. So we're just gonna curve this in and then back out. Round out the inside and go back up. Let's trace out that center section, coming down and out. I'm going to round this out and come up and in. And then finally the tip. Just come out, round up the end, and then go back up. Now with these legs, we're going to darken up the bottom edge of the legs and just blend this out as we go up. So let's start along the bottom. Let's go really dark along the bottom edge and then just blend it out as we go up. We're giving the impression that there's some light hitting the top edge of the legs. I'm going to go back with the tip of my pencil and just darken up that bottom edge. And then we'll do the same thing along the bottom, just tracing the outer contour. Now along the bottom here, we just want to come up and in towards the center point with a straight line. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then from the bottom, we go up and in towards the middle, and then back and down. We're also going to separate the bottom section in half, just cutting that in half on both sides. And I'll trace out the bottom contour. Let's shade in the hinges. Go all fully dark on the inside. And we'll start off dark along the inside leg and just blend this out. Start off dark and as we get halfway, we're just gonna blend that out. Now we're gonna add some fur along the outside of the leg. Let's start at the very top. Just drawing these short lines coming out from the legs. And then along the bottom. We'll work our way up towards the tip of the legs. Just going a little bit shorter along the top. We'll do the same thing along the bottom.
and then the blown wings. Now let's go and trace the outside contour of the wings. And again, I'm going to use a piece of paper just underneath my hand. I'm going to start from the side of the body. And just trace this out, going out towards the left. So we come down and in. Now at the end, we're just going to pull this down towards that bottom wing and follow that same curve coming back in towards the body. And we'll trace out the bottom of the wing. We'll go in behind the leg, and up on the inside. Again, just pulling that down towards the bottom wing and then following that same curve coming back in towards the body. And now we're going to add a little bit of shadow along the inside of the wing and just blend this as we go out. Let's start on the left using the side of our pencil. Go a little bit darker on the inside and then just blend that out. Let's add that thick ridge along the top of the wing. We're going to start up here. I'm just going to taper this so it gets a little bit thicker. The spacing gets thicker as we come in towards the body. And do the same thing on the right. And then just blending that out as we get towards the top of the wing. And then we'll go in and darken up that ridge. Let's go in and add some veins across our wing. We're going to start at the very top. We're just going to lightly sketch the curve coming down. And then just bending that in towards the inside. We're going to take that and flip it over on the right. Starting from the inside, curve out and up. And bend that up towards the top. And then we're going to branch the veins coming out from this line. Let's start on the bottom. Go out and then down. Just going to mirror what we do on the left to the right side. Let's go back up to the top, we're going to step down, go out, and then up, and then from the bottom, curve down, and just going to blend that out towards the side. Let's add a few more veins, starting along this line, curve down and in. And then from here, curve out and down. It's going to randomly replace these veins. Let's add a branch over here. Come out. Now we'll add some veins across the bottom wing. Starting at the very top on the inside. Go down. And then fade that out. And it branches out. Going up towards the top. Go down to the bottom, out, and then blending that out to come down. Let's add a few more. From the top, we'll step down, a short line going out, and then from the bottom, go out, and then down. Now we're going to add an effect that makes this bee stand out from our page. So we're going to add a drop shadow along the bottom, starting on left, using the edge of our pencil to shade the bottom of the thorax, coming down. 
and then back up on the right. It's going to go a little bit darker along the bottom edge of the thorax. And then we'll blend that out. And then from the tip of the feet, we're going to sketch a straight line going in towards the thorax. We're going to start a little bit darker along the base of the foot. And then just blend that out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting off dark. And then we'll fade that out as it comes in. Let's do the same to the outside feet. Starting out dark, sketch a straight line coming back in. I'm just blending that out. And we'll do the same thing to the top feet. Starting off dark, just angling down in behind the wings. Just blending that out as it comes down. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a bumblebee. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe. And join me for more sketch tutorials every Saturday and Sunday. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.